Hi, I'm Philippe Newland and this is Top 50 Dishes of New York City. We're here today at Prune with Gabrielle Hamilton, the chef, a chef chef, and her specialty is sweetbreads. So let's go in and see what it's all about. Come on. So these are the sweetbreads with bacon and capers. And uh, let's see if Philippe likes it. And if he doesn't, there's something wrong with him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks this looks like it's gonna fit my Atkins diet, no problem. <laughs> okay, so Gabrielle, here we have this beautiful painting of a dish. Uh, sweetbreads. Why are they called sweetbreads? Yeah, I don't Where's know why they do that. Is that from? to make people feel more comfortable? I think I think it might be right, because so people think they're gonna get date nut bread or you know right. vegan walnut um, bread. But it's actually the thymus brand. Um, I think the thymus regulates Sex. It maybe regulates metabolism or something. Yeah, <laughs> but but definitely not it, cholesterol. No. And you know what? It, um, it actually disappears in a mature animal. So it, there are only veal sweetbreads or lamb right. sweetbreads. There are not sheep or pig or right. cow. It but has it has to be a young That's animal. Right. That's right. How do you go about taking that big glob of white wonder and turning it into this? Right. Uh, I mean, it's a deep fry with a light crust, so it has a uh, dipped in flour, excess flour taken off, then dipped in egg, and then dipped in the Japanese breadcrumb panko. The panko, which and is then beautiful. It's deep fried, and it's a very quick pan sauce with brown butter and bacon, and then capers and the brine from the capers, that very salty juice, and then right. tons more sweet butter mounted in. Because you can never have enough and black pepper, sweet butter. And I'm not even boasting, I'm just categorically saying these are the best sweet breads in New York. Rock and roll. And <laughs> so I think objectively I'm going to start cutting in. This is an objective cut. And uh, just look at that. Look how beautiful that texture is. And you can tell that this is in no way, shape, or form dry. This is going to be a rich, luscious experience. Cut with a little bit of caper there. I'm ready. Here we go. It's like this, it's like biting into this beautiful ball of luscious silk. Well, that texture is so much more palatable for starters or beginners, I think, than like brains. Uh -huh. Because you know how that's um, silky but custardy, which can really freak right. people out. But right. this is meaty. I mean, I think we totally. could serve it to children and call it chicken nuggets and they would And they would believe the it. This is like high and chicken nuggets <laughs> for cholesterol-loving adults. Is there ain't enough sauce there? There we go. Mm. So this, without a doubt, is one of the top 50 in New York City. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. Th these are way better than chicken. I mean, <laughs> I'm happily eating your chicken McNuggets uh, without getting the toy. I don't need a toy. This is way better than that. Watch for there are going to be kids coming here now. I have to order booster seats for all the children that are going to come and eat the chicken McNuggets. <laughs> Anyway, Gabrielle, thank you so much. Thank you for Wonderful, coming. wonderful, wonderful. And, and now, um, I'm just going to keep eating it, that's okay. <laughs> Sweetbreads, not just for breakfast anymore. Mm -mm. 